Hello friends, good morning and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will quickly show you how to start a deallocated VM or stopped VM in Azure. So when your Azure virtual machine is stopped or deallocated, how you can you know start it? The complete step we are going to see it. This is going to be a very quick video tutorial. This is just a one step. Uh, for doing this and I, I will just uh, show that okay let me navigate to the Azure portal and uh, I will show there okay so you can able to see I have already logged into Azure portal and here what I'll do I'll just search for virtual machine and you can able to see uh, this is my Azure lessons VM and the status is stopped and deallocated you can able to see it here right so what I'll do, I'll just click on this uh, machine and again here also you can see the same status, right? Stopped and deallocated, right? So to start it, what you need to do, just go here and click on the start button and you are done. Then able to see it is showing starting the, starting the virtual machine. It will just take few seconds to start it. You can able to see here now, the uh, virtual machine is started successfully. Now it is up and running, right? So the stop is enabled. That means it is now it in a running state, right? So you can see the status here. It is running, right? St and start is disabled. That's right. So this is how you can, uh, you know, start uh, a stopped or deallocated Azure virtual machine using Azure portal. There is also another approach how you are going to, uh, you know, you can start it that is using a PowerShell command that is start hyphen Azure VM. For that, I have already made a separate video how to execute that command and start a deallocated VM. That video uh, tutorial link, I'm going to put it in the video description. You can just have a look. Okay, so basically, these are the two ways you can use uh, to uh, start a stopped or deallocated VM in uh, azure so that's it for today i thought to quickly show you how to start a deallocated pm in azure using the azure portal and we have discussed the quick approaches for that okay thanks a lot for watching this video if you like the video or kind of felt that it is helpful kindly subscribe to our channel so that you'll get lots of free azure tips and helpful azure powershell commands as well as your CLI commands. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye bye.